Have you ever attempted to assist someone only to discover your efforts are unsuccessful because they weren't ready to help themselves? Even as a compassionate person wanting to make a positive impact, your good intentions might not suffice to aid those stuck in their own issues. Why is that? Let's explore the nine types of individuals you try to help, but due to different reasons, they resist assistance. These are people who, for various reasons, are obstinate, defensive, or unappreciative when intervention is attempted. Understanding these types can prevent you from expending energy on those unwilling to change. Before we delve into the transformative stoic lessons that can change your life, hit that subscribe and like button. Stick with me as we explore each type. 1. Self-Centered People Individuals characterized by extreme self-centeredness tend to magnify every topic, making it revolve around their own experiences, opinions, or concerns. Picture this. You excitedly share plans for a weekend trip, only to be abruptly interrupted by their complaints about never traveling. In this scenario, your enthusiasm becomes overshadowed by their self-focused dialogue, creating an atmosphere where your news or feelings appear inconsequential. Engaging with someone absorbed in their own world can be emotionally draining, as the spotlight consistently sways back to them, disregarding your thoughts. While it's essential to believe in your capacity to inspire change, it's equally crucial to acknowledge the wisdom that changing someone who perceives no issue in their actions is a formidable task. Sometimes, for personal growth, stepping back from such negativity is the wisest course of action. Remember the Stoic principle. We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak, emphasizing the importance of distancing oneself from self-absorbed individuals to find a space where your voice can genuinely be heard. 2. The Opportunist Navigating relationships with opportunistic individuals involves recognizing the subtleties of their actions. Empathy a beautiful facet of human connection becomes a double-edged sword when dealing with those who perceive it as an avenue for exploitation. These individuals often masquerade as friends, initially praising your friendship but gradually leaning on you for favors they could handle independently. Their approach involves a strategic use of guilt, subtly making you feel obligated to assist them in trivial matters. Distinguishing between genuine need and manipulation becomes crucial, as true friends seek support during dire straits rather than consistently relying on others for minor emergencies. Actions speak louder than words, and patterns unveil the truth. If someone repeatedly turns minor inconveniences into your responsibilities, it's essential to choose self-respect over misplaced guilt. Recognize that kindness involves more than deeds. It embodies an attitude and genuine compassion. It's not just about helping, but ensuring that your support is valued rather than taken for granted. Sometimes the kindest act is setting boundaries to preserve your time and energy while encouraging self-reliance in those who might exploit kindness. 3. People who create their own illusions. Individuals who craft their own illusions construct intricate narratives that often deviate from reality. Picture someone enveloped in their little stories, weaving tales about their identity and the world around them. These tales become so ingrained that they genuinely believe them, hindering their ability to perceive objective truths. In the eyes of ancient Stoics, who valued facing reality with clarity, such individuals would be akin to those ignoring a leak in their roof and wondering why their couch gets soaked when it rains. These imaginative storytellers erect mental walls as formidable as castles, resisting external perspectives. Convincing them of errors in their thinking requires patience, as they need to independently recognize the flaws in their self-created narratives. As Stoics wisely noted, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality, emphasizing the importance of seeing oneself truthfully rather than hiding behind false tales. 
Assisting someone entrenched in their illusions involves helping them break down the walls of their mental castle, encouraging a clear and honest self-reflection. 4. People who never admit their mistakes. Individuals who consistently refuse to admit their mistakes create a formidable challenge in the pursuit of personal growth. Imagine someone steadfastly deflecting blame, attributing every misstep to external factors. In the eyes of the wise Stoics, such behavior is akin to steering a ship without a compass, lacking the self-awareness required for effective navigation. These individuals habitually externalize responsibility, attributing setbacks to fate rather than acknowledging the repercussions of their choices. Attempting to enlighten them becomes a thankless task, reminiscent of teaching a cat to swim against its nature, an exercise in futility. The Stoic philosophy underscores the limited control we have over others' actions, emphasizing the necessity of recognizing when continued efforts to help someone only entangle you in their self-justifications. Sometimes, stepping away from those resistant to self-reflection becomes the healthier choice, aligning with the Stoic belief that our actions and reactions are within our control, even if others remain ensnared in self-justification. 5. Those who don't prepare for the future. Observing individuals who neglect to prepare for the future is akin to witnessing a book remain unopened, its pages containing untold stories left untouched. Life's ticking clock seems inconsequential to them as they disregard the chapters of potential written within. Despite possessing a toolbox brimming with skills, they hesitate to map out the steps needed to construct their envisioned future. It's akin to having a green thumb, yet hesitating to plant a garden, possessing knowledge of soil and seeds but failing to plot the land. Encouraging them to take that crucial first step, to get their hands dirty and embrace their potential, becomes imperative. The Stoic's wisdom rings true, Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. It's a reminder that directing one's actions toward a brighter future requires proactive steps in the present, emphasizing the importance of guiding those who underuse their talents toward a more purposeful path. 6. People who focus on life's negatives. Engaging with individuals fixated on life's negatives often feels like navigating through a constant storm of discontent. Conversations with them become a litany of woes, where every proposed solution seems to be met with a new problem. It's akin to pouring water into a sieve. The pessimism persists despite efforts to provide support and optimism. The Stoic wisdom echoes in the saying, he who laughs at the human race deserves better of it than he who mourns for it. This serves as a poignant reminder that dwelling on the dark aspects of life can blind us to the light. Attempting to tune someone else's instrument while neglecting one's own harmony can be futile. Redirecting efforts toward those who appreciate support as a gift rather than perpetually dwelling on life's negatives becomes essential. After all, Time may be the catalyst that eventually teaches them to celebrate what's in their cup rather than lamenting what's not. 7. People who always blame others for their problems. Assisting individuals who habitually deflect blame onto others poses a formidable challenge. Picture someone who never admits their own missteps, perpetually pointing fingers at external factors. This behavior is akin to navigating a ship without a rudder, lost in a sea of confusion and lacking the crucial self-awareness needed for growth. In the eyes of the Stoics, the ability to reflect on one's mistakes is paramount for personal development. Encountering someone who consistently shifts responsibility can be likened to a player blaming the wind for every missed shot without investing effort in improving their game. The truth is, self-improvement commences with self-reflection, and those resistant to looking inward hinder their own progress. 
Stepping away from individuals who perpetually blame others becomes an act of self-preservation, aligning with the stoic belief that our reactions to events shape our lives just as much as the events themselves. 8. Self-Entitled People Interacting with self-entitled individuals unveils a delicate dynamic where an inherent belief in entitlement dictates their expectations. Envision someone who traverses life with the assumption that it owes them favors merely for their presence. This perspective clashes with the Stoic philosophy, which advocates for mutual respect and the understanding that accolades should be earned through labor, not expected as gifts. Guiding individuals with generous hearts in redirecting these entitled perspectives can be challenging, as well-intentioned advice may be met with resistance or perceived as a threat. Their conviction that charm should effortlessly open doors often leads to a one-sided dynamic, where they take without reciprocating, leaving those who extend generosity feeling used. Life's setbacks become poignant lessons for those who anticipate the spotlight of sympathy without recognizing the reciprocal nature of respect and empathy. Ultimately, the Stoic wisdom that spoiling what we have by desiring what we have not resonates, emphasizing the importance of balanced expectations and earned recognition. 9. People Resistant to learning or change, Engaging with individuals, resistant to learning or change mirrors, attempting to impart wisdom to those steadfastly rooted in their ways. Visualize someone akin to Tom at the office, unwilling to embrace new methods even when they could significantly reduce their workload. Encouraging a shift in perspective becomes akin to trying to teach a cat to swim. Advice may be plentiful, but the desire for change must come from within. As the Stoics noted, he who is content with what has been done is an obstacle in the path of progress. This simple reminder underscores the importance of stepping out of one's comfort zone and acknowledging the room for personal growth. While progress often requires self-reflection and an openness to change, planting the seed of transformation may be the most one can do, with the hope that nature, in its time, fosters the growth of newfound understanding. As we grasp the significance of leaving our comfort zones and embracing the space for personal growth, it's essential to recognize that progress demands both self-reflection and a willingness to embrace change. In our journey of transformation, sometimes all we can do is plant the seed, trusting that, in due course, nature will nurture the growth of profound understanding. If you're ready to embark on this transformative journey, don't forget to hit subscribe for more insightful content. Now let's dive into the wisdom that can reshape your perspective and guide you towards a path of enlightened living. Stay tuned for a life-changing experience and let's explore together.